Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten here bringing you part 13 in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew the Captive Curse. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't gone down the well to uh, um, check out those tunnels. And I wonder if maybe there's something we missed down there or maybe if something new turned up there. Because that's kind of a like freaky location that I think we should look into again. Especially since this is the first mystery in the games where things kind of reveal themselves along the way. They're not always just sitting there. New things appear. So I think it's important to double check this spot. Oh, we got creepy music. I don't like the creepy music. Okay. And we should probably look at the map too. So we have the wooden pile. Where are we? Where did we come in? I feel like we came in from here. Um, hmm. We already went this way to the left. Then we go this way to the right, and there's the, like, head. Okay, oh, okay, here's the skull head. So then, if we go to the right, there's things over here, or we can go to the left and kind of go all the way around. Maybe we should do that. Anything? Nothing. Not seeing anything. There's the two keyholes again. And there's the shield. Okay. So at the shield, we then have, like, I think a way out. Yep, there's a way out. And then there's a way. There's like a. Is that a shortcut to the other way? If we go... Oh no, shield. Way out. Okay, those are the big stones. Big stones and wall. Big stones and wall. Anything over this way? Oh my gosh. This must be the scarf Renata mentioned. That's weird, why did it just appear down here? That's creepy. It's creepy as. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I'm playing this game at night right now and my cat keeps jumping around and every time she jumps around, like it scares me a little bit because we're down in these creepy tunnels. Uh, I love it. That's what happens when you have a cat. Oh, this barrel. The lid's stuck. Need to find something that'll pry it off. This wasn't here before, but it looked like it should have been on the map. Hey! That looks exactly like what the monster was wearing. We found fabric that the monster was wearing. That's creepy. Weird. Okay, let's take our secret door out into the woods and hope that we can escape quickly. Help! Help! Get me out of here! <laughs> I want, I want out of the woods. I don't like being in the woods at night. Oh my gosh! Are we for reals? What? 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 Ooh, what? What? That is from The Sword in the Stone, a highly underrated Disney film. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How did I do this? I'm better off going back into the tunnels and trying to find a different way out. Okay, where are the stairs? I want to go back to the stairs anyway. That's a better... A shortcut? Escape? What am I trying to say? It's a better something. There we go. Better exit. That's what I'm saying. Better exit, because it puts me right into the safety of the castle and not in the arms of the monster. There we go. Can we look at our pretty, um, yay, our pretty purchase. I love it. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go talk to Renata about this scarf. Because, like, she made that sound like that was a really old story. Something that happened, like, a long time ago. 
Nancy? I found this scarf. Does it mean anything to you? I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? In the passages. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, Nancy. That story you told me about the girls. That was you, wasn't it? You chased your sister into the woods, but couldn't save her. You're half right. How so? I was the little girl. It was my older sister who chased me into the woods. My sister died trying to protect me. I'm sorry, but you do know that it wasn't your fault. That is not what matters, I guess. Is that why you're here? Yes. I promised myself that it would never happen again. I came here every time there was talk of the monster. Back then, back then I was ready to fight. Now, look at me so. I know there is not much I can do, but still I have to come. That's why you're always here when there are rumors of the monster returning. Do you really think it was a monster that, you know? I don't know. I don't know which is easier to live with. I know you would have done the same for her. It's not up to you to keep everyone safe. Maybe you're right. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to? Yes, it would. Nancy? Yes? Thank you for this. I don't know what help I can offer, Nancy, but whatever you need, I will help you. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Well, we've completely won over Renata. Score! Okay. Who do we talk to? What do we do? What do we do? Um, talk, talk to Marcus. We talk to Anya. Go in the security booth. Didn't we just find a new one? Did we find a new one? No. That was in the woods, right? Yeah, we don't have another one to translate. Um, hmm. What, what do we do next? We've got all these pages that probably should be in some sort of order. But what that order is, I do not know. And honestly, have to translate that. I already translated that for like forever ago. That was so many parts ago, Nancy. Let's see. We have all these pages. The Friar's Daughter, Step 1. Should we look at the painting of the Friar's Daughter? Step 1 for what, I wonder. Friar's Daughter is Step 1. That must be the Freiherr's daughter from the legend. I need to find an undamaged version of this painting. Actually, isn't that what our postcard is? I wonder if this could be the undamaged version of the painting of the Freiherr's daughter. I should take a closer look at this postcard. I wonder if there's anything behind that sticker. It looks like there were letters in the corner of the original painting. Gasp. So we have star E-N. And that's the first step. The Freiherr's daughter is the first step. And we have all these, like, pages. N star. TK. Do we have all of them, though? 17... 25, 11, they're all in different orders. And what are they for? I don't even know. Should we call Marcus maybe? Um, update. Hello. I keep finding references to girls who have disappeared. What do you know about that? Yeah, I, I've heard something like that. Uh, wait, uh, are you getting all wrapped up in this nonsense? Not exactly. Just trying to figure out what's going on. Fair enough. Truth is, it's a castle. It's really old. On a long enough time run, everything develops a scary history. At least that's what the castle salesman said. <laughs> I found Lucas dressed up as the monster. The kid? Yeah, but then I saw the real monster. So, the, the situation is still pretty much the same. There's still a monster on the loose? Well, maybe. Okay, um, good talk. Come on, what do you think you're even doing? I'm doing my best. Not you, the idiot with the... Yeah, you, buddy! Where, where did you learn how to drive? The, the, the 1800s! Are you driving right now? Yes, I'm driving. 
Uh, and this guy, uh, yeah, still you, buddy. It's going so slow and swerving. I, I memorize. I am memorizing your license plate. Sorry, this this guy. I, I know you see me. I know you know I'm yelling. Should I let you go? Uh, if you want, I I got one of these hand-free phones, so it doesn't bother me. This weather is is not great. <laughs> Did you know that Anya lied on her resume? I didn't. That's embarrassing for her. But, look, in this world, you've got to make your own luck. Anya's got a lot of heart, a lot of moxie. That's more important than a good resume. Still, I, I wouldn't expect her to do something like that. What made you get into the castle business? It might seem like a strange thing to do, but trust me, when you can afford to buy a castle... Owning a castle suddenly makes so much sense. Do you spend much time at the castle? No, I, I thought I was going to live there. Why didn't you? Castles are sort of awful. They're, they're dank. They have dungeons. They're, they're creepy. So you try to bring in tourists? Doesn't make sense. Oh, I disagree. A good vacation ends with you looking at your house and promising it that you'll never leave it again. Have you ever had something like this monster happen to you before? Not surprisingly, no. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Hi there. I keep finding these references to the monster's past victims. What have you found out? Is there a pattern? I can't figure it out yet. The story seems to be that when the monster comes to the castle, he's always on the lookout for someone who reminds him of his previous victims. That's really creepy. How did a story like this get started anyway? I read in one of my classes that people love to find patterns in random things. I've heard of that. I think that may be going on here. A few accidents happened and everything snowballs. Pretty soon it looks like a pattern. And if there's a pattern, there must be... A monster. Right. It looks like someone is using the story to their own benefit, if you ask me. I can't figure out why the monster would target certain people. Is there something that the victims have in common? There must be something. I'll look. Any more ideas about the story behind the monster? It's pretty theatrical, if you think about it. How so? Costumes, props, it's almost like someone is trying to put on some sort of creepy show. You know, you're right. Interesting. Unless there really is a monster, which is unlikely, right? <laughs> I think that I've been cast as the next victim. What do you mean? The dress, the necklace, all of the weird warnings I've been getting? Nancy, you need to get out of there fast. I can't just walk away from a case. I'm not sure I even could if I wanted to. I wish I wasn't so far away. Do not put yourself in danger. You've got to play it safe. I will, I promise. She won't. She's lying. I found out that Anya lied on her resume. That's pretty bad. Are you going to do anything about it? When I talked to her, she seemed pretty sorry about the whole thing. Well, that still doesn't make it right. I know, but I think Anya needs to take responsibility for fixing this herself. I agree. Carl has a bunch of unsent love letters in his office. Interesting. How do they seem? They seem like love letters. I mean, do they sound excited or manic or worried? I guess, if anything, they seem a little sad. It's almost like he's given up on things working out but can't bear to get rid of the letters. I wonder why that is. Maybe the relationship didn't work out because he's stuck at the castle. Could be. Were you much of a prankster when you were a kid? Oh, of course. Pranking people was so much fun, although it wasn't as easy as you'd expect. Why not? Well, you've got this elaborate setup, and you want it to be this big show-stopping thing, and everything has to be just perfect or everything's a wash, so lots of times you've got everything all set up, but your victim just won't go in the right room or something like that. It's pretty frustrating. Ned, that's it. What's what? That's what this is like. The dress, the necklace, the stories I keep finding. These are all pieces of a big setup. And once everything is perfect... What? Then the monster strikes. And wait... What did you say about show-stopping? What did you mean by that? Well, you've got to have an audience, or it's not fun. Marcus, and the investors. What? I've got to get to the bottom of this before Marcus gets here. What? Why? 
Think about it. If you wanted an audience, who better than the owner and the investors he's trying to impress? Good point. How much time do you have? I'm not sure. Not long. Thanks. See you later. See you soon. That was a helpful conversation. Let's see if Frank can help, too. Hey, Nancy. Do you think something like a monster could really exist? Sure. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. You really think so? Well, it sounds crazy, but it's true. There are plenty of monsters in the world. We just give them names and pretend that they're reasonable. Like what? Like sharks! There is no way that sharks are not monsters. Have you seen those things? They have a scientific name now that we have learned all we can about them, but take a swim with one and tell me it's not a monster. No, thank you. Right. So whatever it is that's scaring people, it may turn out to actually be something else. But if everyone is this scared, it is a monster. I think I might be in danger. Why? What's happened? Someone is trying to draw attention to the castle by making the monster myth come true. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? I think I've been brought in to be the next victim. The necklace, the dress, the stories, it all adds up. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm right yet. Nancy, if that's true, then this is very serious. I know. I discovered what the stilts were for. Yeah? Lucas was dressing up as the monster. So, case closed. You're on the next flight home? Not exactly. When I caught him, I saw the real monster. This place has too many monsters. I found some strange emails from the castle's owner. He seems pretty worried about money. Not exactly what you'd expect from a person who owns a castle. Really? It seems like a castle would be the definition of a money pit. True, but if you own a castle, you're probably doing okay financially. I wouldn't be so sure. It looks like he's pretty desperate to bring people into the castle. Desperate enough to pull off a dramatic stunt? Maybe, but then why would he hire me to investigate? Good point. I'll let you go. Bye. Catch you later. Oh. Oh. Come to my office quickly. Something terrible has happened. Oh, no. Something terrible has happened. Carl! What's happened, Carl? Where are you? Where, where, how do I get to Carl again? <laughs> I found him. I found him. Nancy, something terrible has happened. It's Lucas. He's missing. Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I wish it was. It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. Anyway, he, he's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. I thought you didn't like him. This is not about liking, Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Lucas is missing. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, let's go down to his spot and see if there's anything that he left behind that could help us find him. It looks like Lucas was dragged off. I better find him before something bad happens. We dragged off. There's sand, like from the um, the glass blowing room. It's Lucas. He's gone. I'm sure it's nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick on Carl. No, I've searched everywhere. He would never just leave like that. He knows how dangerous it is to go outside the castle walls at night, especially now. You've got to help me find him, Nancy. I will. I'm pretty sure I know where he is. He's probably down here. Ooh, do you think he got in the dungeon? That would stink. Um, gotta use our tongs thingy. Okay, into the dungeon. Oh, this is so creepy. Ugh. Don't like it. Lucas. 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 
Is everything okay? The creature caught me and locked me up in here. I'll get you out. Hang tight. Looks like I need to slide the bar across to unlock the door. I'll have to avoid those pegs while it's moving. Okay, so this is a weird puzzle where you have to, like, click the button to remove certain pegs. Um, but some of them, like, show up easier than others. So, like, for example, now these ones are empty, but this one is full. So I'll need to figure out a way to get rid of those before the red bar bumps into them. So, oh boy. This makes me nervous. What if we do this one? There we go, okay. And these ones were open when I had the other one. So what if we do like this and this? There we go. And then this one got rid of one of those. Maybe this, aha! Okay, and then we need to get rid of these two. Um, aha! And then we need to get rid of those three at the end. Aha! Wow! I did not think I'd get that on the first try. I'm pretty proud of myself. That was nice. I saved you. Thanks, Nancy. I'm out of here. Hurry! Nancy? Nancy, are you okay? I'm fine, Lucas. I need you to go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm stuck. Well, that's not good. Can I get out the other way? I could probably go this way. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm. What's going on? Hello? Is anyone out there? I got I thrown down the right. trap door. I can't see anything. All right. So, I think I'm going to leave this part right here and then we will hopefully solve this mystery in the next part. Thank you so much for watching fellow detectives. I will see you soon.